Hello, my name is Sam Parker Davies and I am in the hills of the Northern Rivers. At the moment I'm walking around uh, an MO, a multiple occupancy of 100 acres, um, seven different houses on the property. Um, quite an amazing communal living arrangement and I'm looking at the future design of a little five acre section. Now looking around this area we have a beautiful slope that slopes down from the, the north around to the east and around to the southeast. Um, what we've started with, my granddad has been planting out, or was planting out a long time ago, um, this little section in here of uh, pomegranate and a couple of natives and um, some papaya. Designing this section, looking at how we can retrofit or reimagine what can happen here, I've started, I've planted in one jackfruit, one mango, and another jackfruit um, as a projection of an overstory of a food forest. Jackfruits live for about a thousand years, mangoes about 800, and they get very, very big. So it's looking at the long-term journey of a forest. These trees are gonna outlive me a long, long time. The papaya, not very long at all. Maybe five years I'll let it live. Um, this native as well, short-term, these tobacco bushes, that have self-seeded short term, this pomegranate short term, they're supporting each other to turn into a forest of food. So what's been put down is this cowpea as a ground cover to get out the long clumping grass that's going to get in the way. So we dug out all the clumping grass, manual labour with hands, laid down all this cowpea, tiny little section, tiny little section that could be done on such a bigger scale. This cowpea has covered the ground it's also a nitrogen fixer, also a food producer. Um, you can use its beans as dal. Uh, the, it's enriching our soil with its nitrogen fixation, covering the soil, which is essential. Um, whatever's not being covered by it is being covered by mulch. And then supporting the trees around them to grow by bushing over and tangling them up. The trees struggle a bit and force themselves to get bigger. You know, this house behind me, it needs a lot of work, so it gets very hot in the summer. So we've started growing little grapes around it. An incredible bunch of people came, helped me plant all these trees. We have a guava, we have a papaya, we have another pomegranate, we have a cherry guava, we have um, custard apple. And all these things are going to go together to make a very beautiful, amazing food forest. We've got bamboo over here to help um, on a dam wall. Now, as we get over here, we'll also see more papayas, more tobacco bushes, um, more clumping grass, some things self-seeded, some things planted by me. But then, as we look out over this hill, we can start to see future prospects for just rolling hill of food forest. Bare grass will one day turn into a rolling hill full of food forest. What an incredible projection for this future. Overlooking this hill, walking along, there'll be bamboo placed all along here to help with this dam so that things that shouldn't grow like, like this, with tap roots, things that'll shoot down into the dam, um, they won't have the room to, to seed or self-seed or grow. It's amazing. Over on the northern part, uh, we can do annual cropping because it's got that northern face, that northern direction. Preferably an eastern hill would be great, but um, it's not so simple right here. There's another spot on the property that would be perfect. Um, if it was eastern sloping, then you could run it on contour and face the, um, face the rose north so you get the northern sun filtering through those northern rows. could grow trees and everything would still get sun. But this is what we have to work with and the northern slope is perfect. So we'll just work with that. This is future projections for a property in Mount Burrell.